back friends to Therein to Back Again. I'm Logan Greathouse. Thanks for visiting with me today. Uh, today we're going to do another quick video uh, for the new smoker um, that may be having some trouble with lighting uh, their, their pipe, keeping it lit, um, uh, or just kind of getting it going. Um, so what I'm going to do is show how I do it that I get the best results. And again, there are uh, other, there are a lot of different schools of thought on how to do this. Everybody kind of finds their rhythm. Some people say you got to use matches. Some say they get uh, best results with a lighter. Uh, I use both. Uh, some people say it's three steps. Some people just go ahead and light it up from the beginning and do it uh, a single light. Who cares about all the steps? This is the way that I've found it works best for me. And I kind of think of it like you're tending a small campfire. Um, and so you want to, uh, it kind of goes hand in hand with how well you load it. You can check out my other video on how to load the pipe for best results. Uh, and then this is how to light it. Again, I'm going to use this Algerian Briar. That's a no-name pipe. Uh, it, it's made in France. Uh, this, is a, this is a workhorse. It gets the job done. I love this pipe. Um, but uh, I do it in two steps. The first step, uh, the charring light uh, or the false light, I've heard some people call it a searing light or just simply the first light. Um, and and that, uh, what that is going to do is it's going to create sort of a, uh, a little bit of ash at the top, sort of like a crust that kind of holds in the heat on the second light. Uh, so I do it twice and today I'm going to be using my handy uh, Zippo uh, lighter and uh, it's not just a standard Zippo. It's a it's a pipe style It's got this hole in it for turning to the side and lighting like that. So uh, It's it's pretty handy um, it, I use it for quick for a quick light uh, usually outside Today I'm using it just to just to get it uh, done quickly because sometimes matches uh, they can they can take a little while to set up uh, when you strike them and then they go out and all this stuff. So anyway, I usually use matches just because I like uh, the, I think the wood burning uh, is less intrusive on that flavor of the tobacco than pipe fuel or pipe lighter fuel. Um, but uh, anyway, both are good methods. You choose which one you want to do. It doesn't matter really. So anyway, first light, charring light, searing light, however, whatever you want to call it. And what I do is I just make sure I get good coverage over the whole thing. I'm not drawing deeply. I'm doing kind of quick puffs just to get that top uh, toasted, seared, charred, uh, and create a little bit of a crust of burnt tobacco on top. And then I take my pipe tool, very lightly tamp that top. Kind of um, getting that crust on the top, sort of flattened out. Now, I do my true light. And this time I draw a bit deeper as I light, and it actually sets the coal beneath the surface to help protect it and keep it from going out. Um, so, and again, I do an even light, kind of moving the thing around, moving the lighter around uh, to get kind of an even burn all the way around. Being careful not to, not to scorch the, the lip of my pipe too much um, and make sure that it, it doesn't doesn't hurt the pipe at all hurt the wood and then I'm taking longer draws to really set that coal Grab my tamp, my pipe tool, my check pipe tool again. Very lightly tamp it down. When you get it set, a good light will last you a while. Um, now, if you, some people smoke like a freight train. 
and keep drawing and keep drawing and keep drawing these long draws. Um, that can make your the, the chamber very hot, hot to hold. So I recommend just an even pace, kind of like you're breathing. Take a break. Slow down and relax. And if the pipe goes out, just relight it. Some people wear it as a badge of honor that they'll try and keep the pipe lit from the top to the bottom. And that, that really depends on a lot of factors. How wet the tobacco is, how loose your pack is, how tight it is, um, it, how often you're drawing on it. Um, it's okay to relight. Relight as often as you need to. The point of the pipe smoking is to just relax, to take it easy, to take your time. It's not a race. Um, and it doesn't matter if you light it once or you light it uh, 20 times while you're smoking. It's your pipe, do it as you want. Um, but I have found that, that getting a good load, consistent density through it, and the two light method really works in, in, in letting you enjoy it without really having to tend it too much. Uh, and do too many relights. There's going to be there's going to be a number of relights you're going to do as you smoke, and that's okay. So anyway, I hope that this helped you. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click like and subscribe and tell your friends. And thank you so much for joining me today. Really appreciate it. Have a good one.